Hello again to everybody. Sorry, the first time that I tried recording the song, it did not take. So we're going to try take two. So the song for this month is called Come and See. Sorry, I had to look at my thing. And it's really, really a basic song, and it's just all about God's creation. So I'm going to show you just the basic chorus, and then I'll do the song with the music, and I'll post the YouTube link so that you guys can listen to the song. After you listen to it about five times, you know it pretty well, and you want to be really familiar with it for the kids. So if I were leading the class, I would just sit in a chair in front of the kids, and I would just have them sit on the floor, um, kind of like circle time if you were in a pre-K class or in kindergarten. Um, I am going to have a lyric video up on the TV. The kids won't need to see it because it will just be words and they can't read. It's more for you. So you might just want to be able to see the TV and have the kids really not facing the TV and have the kids facing you. So the chorus of the song says, Come and see what God has made. Come and see what God has made. In seven days, seven days, God made the world. So I've tried it with Tripp. He gets it pretty good. He loves the song. We listen to it over and over and over again. So um, in the verses, it talks about five things that God made. God made the sun. And you'll have this prop in the class, but you can also just have the kids do sun, and they can do this with you. Then God made the wind. So if you like, you have a fan to make wind, or you can have the kids say, and do wind. Third, God made vegetables. So you'll have your vegetable prop, and you can pick it and take a bite. The kids can pick with you and take a bite. Fourth, God made eagles, so you've got your eagle puppet to soar with, and the kids can just soar their arms like eagles. And then fifth, God made people, so you have your people puppet, and the kids can just say people like that. So I'll play the song, and I'm probably going to sing along because I just can't help it, so I apologize. Here we go. And the kids are just going to pat their knees on the in-between part. Won't you come and see what God has made? Won't you come and see what God has made? Seven days, seven days, God made the world. And they can pat. That's right. First one is sun. Well, God said, let there be, let there be, let there be. God said, let there be. And there was sunshine. Next is wind. Well, God said, let there be, let there be, let there be. God said, let there be wind. And there was wind. Rain clouds. Back to the dirt forest. Won't you come and see what God has made? Won't you come and see what God has made? Seven days. Seven days, God made the world. Next is vegetables. Well, God said, let there be, let there be, let there be. God said, let there be vegetables. vegetables. And there mm, were vegetables like beets and broccoli. And God said, let Eagles. there be, let Ready there to fly. be, let there be. God said, let there be eagles. And there were eagles soaring way up high. Here we go with the chorus. Won't you come and see what God has made? Won't you come and see what God has made? Seven days, seven days, God made the world. Okay, here it does a little in-between part. Do you just have them do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God made the world. Hey, here's the last verse. It's people. God said, let there be, let there be, let there be. God said, let there be people. There were people like you and like me. Won't you come and see what God has made? Won't you come and see what God has made? Seven days, 
for all of June. It would be awesome if all of you knew it and you could encourage the kids to sing along. All of the leaders in the classroom, you could sit down next to the kids, help them learn to pat their legs. And like I said, Trip loves it. Ashley tried it out on Gus. Gus loves it. So I know the kids in the Kids Crossing classroom will love it too. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good Memorial Day.